Well, I think we're in the right place. We're in a kitchen to talk about an amazing fact that I only learnt the other day. Did you know £17,000 a year is lost in waste food by each restaurant? And I don't mean lost as in they can't find it, it's wastage. Here to talk about this is Ali Carter from Catercost. Ali, why is that? Um, the figure comes from the Sustainable Restaurant Association and the waste figure covers a, a whole gamut of things. So it can be waste in the cooking process, i.e. chef burns it. It can be waste as in it's gone off, um, it's gone past its sell, di uh, sell by date. But the biggest one and the scariest one is that 34% of that figure is actually off the diner's plates. So the plate's gone out, full of food, to the customer, and it's then brought back into the kitchen, and 34% of that figure comes from food waste from the diner once they've eaten their plates, what's left, basically. So it's, it's actually down to the restaurateur or the chef that's making mistakes with the, the quantities or just putting wrong things on the menu? Yeah, there's, there's lots of things at play here. Um, portion control is a, is a problem. Um, I will say that portion control is a problem. Plates piled high, you can only eat so much. But the single biggest offender is salad garnish. Um, would you believe <laughs> How's that? Well, it's crazy, isn't it? Salad garnish. You think when you go out to a restaurant, everything seems to have a little bit of salad garnish on it. So lettuce, tomato, cucumber, maybe a bit of pepper, onion, something like that, to make it look pretty. Yeah. Um, it comes out as like an extra um, and it sort of goes back in the bin because nobody actually eats it or very few people eat it. I eat my salad it. because I was told to eat my salad. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what? <a> <laughs> well, thank you very much. We're actually here and there is some salad on, on the uh, worktop here and you have a, a set of scales so maybe you could demonstrate well, exactly what's going the, on. The, the thing is that um, salad garnish is expensive. Let's, let's face it, it's, it's fresh, it's got a short shelf life um, if you don't buy this sort of ready prepared lettuce stuff, you've got to pick off and waste a lot of the outer leaves of the, of the lettuce. Um, and so what people are doing, they're, they're putting together maybe a nice sort of plate. So you've got a nice sort of... A nice little plate like that, and they're, they're just grabbing a handful of salad garnish and thinking, oh, that's about right. Putting a little bit of extra colour on there. and maybe, onion and, and maybe some pepper like that. And maybe some sort of tomatoes, these nice cherry tomatoes, because it looks pretty. Now look, that does look lovely and fresh. That's gorgeous. However, that's probably got a cost price of about, I don't know, 40 or 50p. And that's just the side dish. And that's just the side dish. Um, so, and, and well, people, you've got the scale, so what should restaurateurs do? Should they measure out every leaf? Yes, uh, absolutely. Seriously. Absolutely. Better still, do away with the salad garnish. Let's leave that for the dishes <laughs> and just put something like, we've got some nice parsley here, a little frond. If your food is good, it should speak for itself. It doesn't need all this frim fram going on. And something like a nice um, single leaf parsley on the top of a dish, just to give it a little bit of colour, will actually enhance it. And what's this going to cost you? A couple of pea? Job it's done. done. Yeah. Job done. And it's not going to come back and go back into the kitchen as wastage. Wow, I didn't know that. And restaurateurs aren't doing this clearly, or else we wouldn't have that wastage problem. Absolutely. No, and there's lots of ways that you can be creative with your presentation. You don't need to have salad garnish. One of the, I'll tell you the best thing that any restaurateur could do is to, in the middle of service, or any service, pick a service, grab a see-through, one of those uni-box things, a great big see-through one of those, and instead of scraping all the food waste into the bin um, that comes back out from people's plates, Scrape it into this big box, have a look at what's in there, analyse it, chips, salad, whatever it is that you're putting too much of on the plates, stop doing it. See, it's, it's not rocket science, it's really easy. It's literally throwing money away in a way, isn't it? But salad, think about it, you have to buy it in, you have to store it, so you have to store it in a fridge, so that uses electricity. You then have to prepare it, so you've probably got somebody that you're paying a wage to, to, to wash it and prepare it and make it ready for service. You then pay a chef to actually put it on the plate. The waitresses take it out to the customer. The waitresses bring it back in, scrape it into the bin, but we then pay, in this industry, we pay to have our bins collected. So we're actually paying at every stage for this product that we put out on a plate and then put straight in the bin.
Well, it's bonkers. I, I, absolutely, I, I get it now, and I didn't get it before. I'm educated, thank you very much. I actually do like salad, by the way. I, <laughs> and if I don't find salad, I, do, I'm, I am actually the person, probably the one person that orders salad when I go to a restaurant. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. I don't look like it, though, do there I? There is there is a place for salad. <laughs> When you've ordered it, if you're ordering a salad, a, a fresh salad, and that's what you've wanted, that's what you've chosen, then that's brilliant. But if you've ordered a dish and the salad comes as a garnish that you weren't actually interested in, then that's where the, the real problem is. Ali, that's brilliant. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> All right.